Yo, what's up? This video has been brought to you by Card Kingdom. Yo, welcome back to another episode of Single Scoop. This week, we're going to equip them up with a brand new... Well, not really brand new, but everybody's talking about Kellen, especially with the junctions coming around the corner. I wanted to make a deck around the current Kellen, and most importantly, all the artifacts and whatnot that exist currently in Standard, because we're going to have new cards. Uh, so I wanted to see what the equipment package currently looks like, which is Kellen, Faye, Blooded. He can tutor with Birthright Boon. Uh, other creatures you control get plus one, plus zero for each aura and equipment attached to Kellen, but also the Splash of Greens for Kutseel, Malamet Exemplar to pretty much try to cut off interaction. And the second line of text is whenever one or more creatures you control with power greater than its base power deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. So this will help us accrue card advantage while we're hitting, smacking, smorking. We've also got Rook Hex Gold Nabber as Trample Haste when it equips Equip creature you control other than Rook, Hex, Gold, Nabber attacks or dies. You may attach all equipment attached to that creature to Rook. So we've got tons of things. We've got all the Kamigawa, like reconfigure stuff. Uh, we've got Thran power suits, just auras, equipments across the board. Let's see how we do on the ladder. Yo, I think this hand is kind of cool. We'll find out. Mono red. All right, opponents, mono red. Never mind, I lied to you. They're not mono red. I'm going to just play Jorah Kadeen. Pass. Oh, wow. Okay, things you don't play around usually. That. I'm going to play Kutzil. Molomet Exemplar. Seems like a Nanbo with Cyclaw Raptor, but hey, if one gets removed, the other one's there to party. All right, I'll hang out and I'll pass. Cyclaw Raptor will at least trade with Preacher. Oh, no. I'm going to let that hit. Sure. Pass again, I guess. I need them to not do weird vampire things. No weird vampire things, opponent. I do take four if I cast Mirror and Bane Splitter. Remember, this is a two-way street. Whenever a player casts a spell, a player also includes, well, yours truly, unfortunately. I'm now trading my Scythe Claw Raptor. Alright, done with that annoying card. I'm gonna go ahead and play Thran Power Suit and pass as well. So Kutseel is nice. It's able to hang in there. I probably want to be careful how I block. Yep, there we go. I figured as much. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ping the 2-1 uh, the so if they swing with Markov Baron, I can block it. Okay, so it's been blocked. That'll die. All right, I have Ward 2 now. I don't have anything else, though. There's no, like, uh, there's no haste. I need a rabbit foot or whatever that card is. Uh, do I have first strike anywhere? Oh, nice. Okay, hold on. That's kind of huge. All right, I swing for five and I'll pass. I'm going to let them attack with Preacher here. No. Wait, they can't pay the ward. They can't pay the ward. I hope they target. No, they took the right target. That's unfortunate. Wow. What? What is that? Yeah, I have to block this. That's insanely unfortunate. Pass. Gift of Fangs, by the way. Gift of Fangs, the thing that I clearly play around all the time. Fair, fair. Okay, so I can't play anything ever again. Gotcha. Artifact and creature. So anybody that plays a creature or an artifact will have to go bye-bye. Gift of Fangs, a card that I clearly should be playing around. Wait, are they dead? Oh, wait, no. Hold on. I did this wrong. If I had it equipped here, it would have had double strike, right? Wait, it would have only been six power. Interesting choice. So now I need them to kill this thing. But I know they won't, which is unfortunate. 
Cool. They got me again. Dominating vampire. <laughs> Cards that I do not play around. Good game. <laughs> Alright, I'll keep this. This is, I guess, playable. So, sure. Uh, I like it. It's a land that does eat the graveyard. All right, let's go ahead and drop Thran Power Suit. It'll be nice to be able to get a GTA with Kellen. Dude, this is the most annoying thing ever. Sure, I'll just go ahead and play the Kemba. So if they're willing to let this, like if they're not taking the Kemba, then that means they have like Lily. This is really annoying, but sure. They're going to take my Thran power suit, unfortunately. Well, you know, let's see if they have Blot out. All right, pass. Attach up to one target creature control to that. Whenever Kemba or another cat enters the battlefield. That's fine. So they'll pay the ward two here. This is why we did what we did. Not so perfect here, but it's the best we've got. Uh, pass. Oh, this is so bad for us. Okay, sure. So we take four. Oh, thank God. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, I think I still killed the blood letter of Aklazots. I think I just win, right? Oh, no, no, I don't win from here. GG's, though. I think I might have to, like, go down on green-white lands. Because I primarily have nothing but a bunch of red-white lands, but I've still managed to draw a lot of non. Uh, okay. Cool. Does nothing. All right, Lunark Veteran, for whatever that is, and what, like whatever reason you'd have to play it. I'm happy that you are. Okay, Welcoming Vampire, as one does. Opponent just like an Angel's deck or something weird. Equip abilities you activate of other equipment cost one less to activate. So Lion Sash would cost one to reconfigure. Oh, usually that's sad news bears. Why can it... Why does it cost two to reconfigure? Is that not the same? Oh my god, it isn't equipped. I just realized something. The opponent's deck size is insane. They actually just have big deck energy right now. Oh, that's not good news for me at all either. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, what's the worst that could happen? Okay, can I gain enough life to actually outlast here? I need them to not have any interaction as well. Oh no, they're gaining life. Wait, that's cheating. Hold on. I believe the wise old saying is life gain is cheat. So they're going to just cheat twice in my face like that? Okay, cool. That's, I love that. Did it just choose the wrong mo- Oh my god. Let's equip back to this creature on the- on the ground. If they pass, I can reconfigure everything onto rabbit battery or the 2-2 with rabbit battery. Which is pretty much lethal, right? Because I'll have double strike. Wait. Could I have just won by attaching it all to Rabbit Battery? Oh, no, no, but I wouldn't have Trample. That's the difference. I would not have Trample. That's why I attached to Jorkadeen. Of course, Krim. You've read your cards before. Good job. I don't know what that card did. Oh, wait, this is the thing that, it, like, it, it's another... It's like the uh, a Johnny's thingy where you gain an additional life. I guess we're going to try to move Lizard Blade over to Jorkadeen.
What? Hello? How? Why? What? What just happened? That's a fake card. Did they just blot me out? Okay, that's a fake card. This is not real. I'm reporting my opponent. I'm gonna now play Scythe Claw. They can figure out what they wanna do then, but if they start casting spells, they're in trouble. All right, Scythe Claw. Okay, cool beans. Why does it keep tapping my red sources? That's kind of like infuriating. I, it is also my fault for not playing around it. I, I, I think that like just missing out on things, uh, cause I, I think Lion Sash, oh no, 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 wait. Lion Sash only gets a counter if it's a permanent card exiled. So technically there are no permanent cards played so far. Like I, I'm trying to keep Sash mana open, but I can't and I don't know why. Maybe it's trying to prioritize not tapping the pain lands, which is also fair. We're now in a position where our opponent has to respect the fact that this Scythe Claw Raptor will kill them if they cast on my turn. All right, so they gain some life. That'll help dramatically. This flies and has vigilance. Kind of annoying. That's annoying as well. Am I dead now? Yup. Yeah. So that's nine. It has vigilance. It can get in there, deal all the damage it needs to deal. I'm not gonna lie to you. I did not play around the blot out. I did not play around the blot out whatsoever. I play Rook. I mean, I'm, they're just gonna block, right? Do they have anything with first strike? I mean, I guess I could equip the creature. Oh wait, when this attacks, I may attach all these stuff to Rook, because now it's a Trampler. It'll force a lot over, but it's not enough. I think what I should have done was try to put Lizard Blades. Like, I'm still dead no matter how this plays out. And if I had swung out, I'd be in trouble anyways. Double Strike and Trample would have been nicer. It would have forced a block. I could have equipped the Lizard Blades, but I don't think it changes anything. I think I th we still would have lost. So GG's. Uh, sure. Let's see if I draw a green source. Either way, though, I do have Lion Sash, so I should be fine. This can't be good. I'm gonna go in and just play Cockapony Shrimp and Pass. Ah, uh, alright, perfect. Love that. Let's go ahead and flash this in. Get this on the card now. Please and thank you. I don't have any green on me. Kinda nuts. The Lizard Blades? I do not want to sacrifice. Decline. I am so nervous I'm going to accidentally just sack my creature. I'm going to just put this on here and then play the Lion Sash. I don't want to get blown out by, like, any, any, like, if I go and try to go Atali's favor and they kill my thing in response. That's much worse. Okay, cool. So now we'll go ahead and play Lion Sash. Pass. So if they tap out and play... I don't know. I really wish I had a green source now, of course. The one time. Come on. Give me a green mana. Oh, no. What is this? Shelly? Oh, that's really good, actually. Okay. That was disturbingly good. What can I get now? Maybe I get another... Oh, I get... Rabbit battery, that's pretty good. Um, but does rabbit battery do anything afterwards? I mean, it's only two damage. I think I'm better off just getting lizard blades. Yeah, I'm gonna just get lizard blades and then I'm gonna play it again. Losing out on the, the lion sash was really bad for us. Oh, sure. Yeah, they, they got the graveyard on lock down here. They said, hold on, I've got soul guide lanterns and I've got the random pit offering land. Weird. Had I had anything here, they would not be as interactive. That'd have been great. This person came to beat the lands deck so bad, and they will do a wonderful job doing just that. They will do an absolutely wonderful job. Um, I guess I'll just discard the uh, useless card, right? I have no applications with Kutzil, so I'm going to just go ahead and ditch it. 
Uh, you can't, uh, opponent can't draw, draw a card. Chipotle can't, whenever opponent these cards, they land. Dude, come on, man. I mean, I guess on the brighter side, I do have the ability to Thran Power Suit now. Um, they're pro it doesn't matter which one they take because they're gonna have a, like, they're gonna be able to get a bat. Do the thing all over again. I need to get Ward 2 on this now. At least it wasn't blot out. It wasn't blot out. That's all I could care. Um, all right, let's go digging. I'm gonna grab the ra uh, rabbit battery here because then I can immediately play it and swing. Wait, this seems like it's a banger. I'll take it. This is just essentially red deck. I'm just playing red deck. I mean, <laughs> like, right? Like, I, I everything I play has haste. <laughs> haste, haste, haste. Unbeatable. Greatest. The greatest of all time. Greatest of all time. All right, pass. There's no reason to attack. They'll just block. I want to do it next turn when I can actually kill it with Mirror and Bane Spitter. Like, I play Bane Spitter, equip it again, blow something up. Oh. Man, how come, how come I'm getting paired against the lands decks and not doing it? Oh, wait. This might be the greatest thing ever. Like, I can eat one land, so they only get four lands this time. Not that great. All right, I'll pass. I guess I can eat the Broker's Hideout or something like that. I need to get rid of one of these annoying fetch lands. What do they have in the yard? I have to pretty much eat a card every turn. I kind of don't really want to play anything. Uh, I want to I want to get rid of all the deck thinners. So they're down to 8 or like 11 here. I'm waiting them for them to do something else and then I'll go ahead and pop. So this will essentially give them only two lands, which is exactly what I want. You may put then target this way. If you don't, put a counter. You may put target not creature card from your hand into. Ooh, nice. Let's go ahead and just continue to exile stuff. Sure, I'll pay the life for that. Let's eat Besage you now. Go ahead and eat this land as, or this turtle as well. And then now I'll wait. So they have to essentially do at end of turn, they have to bounce this, which is fine. Let's go ahead and exile that spell because I think they're going to cast it from the graveyard. They're trying to get that back with Archaeologist for a reason, so I'll just wait. Had I had three in power suit, that would have been nice, but then I couldn't actually eat anything in their yard. So now they can pop one of these Aftermath Analysts to get two lands. I mean, they're at a million mana. I can't really stop that. Uh, unless you control it, create a green. Okay, cool. That's fine. Get those two lands. Have at it. All right. I'm going to just get in for four and pass. If I had one more mana, this would have been a different story, I think. But for right now, I just need to hold up my mana for whatever weird stuff they're trying to do. If they're trying to doppelgang, that's fine. At the end of the day, I don't really have that many good targets to doppelgang. Like, I would have had lethal with Lizard Blade, but... So we know it's not doppelgang. Uh, the boar that they make, create a 2-2 green bear creature token, then mill three cards. All right, so the creature is not untapped. They're not, it's not, or it is untapped. It is untapped. I see nothing in the yard where they'd get any lands or anything like that, so I love that. If their game plan is to pop the Aftermath Analyst, we already consumed all of their, like, like uh, fetch lands, which we like. That has been very crucial in how we've won this game so far. Or at least put them in a spot where they can't just do their cheesy land stuff. Bear doesn't have haste, so I don't really care. What I care about is that it's a blocker. Sure. I'm going to try to blow up Titania now. They can choose to bounce it. They do have something to do. They very obviously have something to do. I now just play Rook, and then I attack. Leaving up exactly one white mana. Attack. 
decline, just go in for two. They can choose whatever they want to do now. Other than a Rook attacks or dies, you may attach all equipment attached to it to Rook. So if they remove it now, they're dead. Now, if they have like shock bounce, that's a different story. That, that probably saved them here. They need exactly shock and a bounce. I'll eat the one that returns a spell. It's fine. All right, I guess they'll just die. <laughs> sure. This is doable. Uh, okay. One mana. Auto pay this. So thank you. We can button mash through the first early batch of the turns here. Let's not accidentally skip through my turn though. That would be bad. Opponent is clearly a person of culture though. They've got the Karn sleeve sunbathing. That's how you know what's up. That's how you know they know what's up. Thank you. I'm going to just play Lion Sash. Swing. All right. I don't know what they're doing, but if they're mono blue, I can at least eat their graveyard. I need to get this underneath any counter spells they might have that I'm not sure about. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Right? That's, that's super bad for us. Um, okay. In we go. Pass. I can eat whatever they put into the yard. This is nice. I do like that I can just eat whatever goes in the yard. We sunbathe the Karn. GG's. Well played. All right. Play that little land. Go ahead and get in there for some Dimaggio. Then we're going to go ahead and play the Elegant Parlor. Oh, no. That's bad news. Okay. Thran Power Suit's nice. We love to see that. Get on in there. Swing. Now, I am not going to rely on keeping any threats against this opponent. They are mono black or some form of a black based mid range deck. Strong chance it just gets answered. But Thran Power Suit definitely helps with that. War 2 is looking real juicy. Unfortunate. Truly. All right, I've got to try to resolve uh, all these cards on this opponent. What does your deck do? So I'm playing around Make Disappear. Okay, I guess I pass. I did not expect this to go this way. I mean, swing? I mean, they have, they can get their treasure token or whatever. That's fine. Path of Peril is... Coming up. I'm gonna go ahead and equip. Just in case. Just in case they path the peril me. Um, I gotta do this now. Oh god, please. Oh, yes. Sweet. Come on, give me another equipment. Give me another nice equipment here. Like a mountain, baby. Love seeing that. Okay. Pass. I mean, they have to blow this up. Okay. Can't stop that. They would blow up my cat anyway, so no reason to give them anything else to do. Quick creature gets plus one plus... Oh my god, dude. Really? Every every one of these is going to be a land? Alright. In I go. Four to the dome. Oh no. Are they just going to board wipe me again? Okay, sure. They got rid of my lizard blades. I need to draw Rook or anything with haste. Just like literally give me a creature. All right, may I resolve this opponent? Would that be cool? Opponent says it's very cool. Play my land. Pass. Got nothing else. Completely open for business. Whatever they want to do. Whoa, what is that? Oh, wait, this is sweet. I love this card. Oh, they're dead. Oh, they're actually just straight up dead. Oh my god, GG's. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. If you want to see pure memes, well, we combine all three of the top three standard decks, mash them together, and see how well they play together. It probably won't work. I don't know. Watch it.